got a request to do a Ravenclaw a shield crest. I'm really excited because I am Ravenclaw, so I could do um, my house. Um, anyways, you're gonna want a ruler. Um, you can do without, but I just recommend. It's gonna make your picture turn out so much better, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go right down the center of your page. So if you don't have one, pause it, come on back, go get a ruler. I found out some interesting facts about Ravenclaw that I did not know, which is cool. So just make a line right down the middle. Bam, okay? So you are going to make a line at the top. It can go all the way across because we'll just erase whatever's left over, okay? So that doesn't matter because we're gonna erase. Now, the key to the ruler is you're gonna be using two and a half inches. I know, that's American standard. One, two, and then a half. Well, I guess I'm a little more than a half, but anyways, one, two and a half, and then make a line. So you're gonna do the same thing on this side. One, two and a half, and uh, make a line. So this is going to be where the edges are. Then we are gonna go seven inches from top to bottom. So let's find. <laughs> Right, so seven inches from that, this little piece right here, go all the way down seven inches, down to the bottom, make a little mark. So like, okay, this is the bottom, this is gonna be uh, the top. And now let's do the edges. So we're gonna put the edges on here. So just make a line down. You can draw it lightly because you can erase the excess. I'm not, just so you can see my lines. And now we're gonna start curving this in. So it's gonna come down like this. And as you come in, just start curving the crest. Okay, see how it just curves in? So you're gonna do the same thing on this side. Let's try to make it even. So I kind of started curving about here, just to make a little mark going, ooh, see how far down I went on this one to try to make it even. We're curving it in. Now at the top of the crest, we have, um, it's like kind of like dips. So we're gonna make it just kind of pointy right here. Boop, a little point there. Point come down, it's gonna come over here. And then at the end, it's gonna come up a little bit. And then come in. Okay, so do the same thing this side. So coming in, it's gonna pop out a touch and then come in. So then we can erase Right here so it adds to it um what i learned so ravencraw oh the mascot i thought was a raven um i don't know if these facts are true but i read that it's actually an eagle like wait what and in uh, the movie the house colors are silver and blue but in the book they are blue and bronze because the bronze for the eagle so i kind of like did a combination of the movie and the book. So I've got the silver and blue, but then I threw in the bronze. Kind of cool. Okay, now we want to put our edge on there. So you can make it as thick or as thin as you want. So you're going to make this edge, parallel it, dick -a -dick -a -dick, all the way along. Up, you can use a ruler if you want, make it nice and straight. Did I make it? I might have made it a little thicker on here. Uh, maybe a touch thicker. You know what? It doesn't matter. It's close enough. Okay. You can make it as thin as you want. Okay. Here we go. Bring this down. This I think needs to be a touch thicker. Fantastic. And then you're going to do the same thing here. Go across. It's going to lift up a little, we're not gonna really see it because the wings are gonna be in the way. Okay, now we are gonna do the fun Ravenclaw claw crest. So right here, this is for the R. I think it's so wicked, it almost looks piratey to me. So this is here, then you come down here, so it's like parallel, and then you're gonna put the edges on it and connect for the R. And then you can erase inside so it's not distracting. Um, so the mascot, um, I found out, was an eagle. Because Ro Rowena, she's the one that's the created it. It was their family who valued eagles. Because eagles are 
so smart. Hmm. Okay. Now we're gonna put the banner on. So it's gonna just like fly over and then you're just gonna connect it like that. And then it's gonna come off the bottom here. And it's gonna come out. So it has like a piece out here. I guess it came out a little bit more. <laughs> this is super fun to draw. And now we can erase inside here because we don't we don't want to see that with my fake English accent, which is horrible. So each house has values um, that kind of like gives you the characteristics of who they are. Um, and Ravenclaw is intelligence, learning, wisdom, and wit. Hmm, I don't mind if I do. All right, so now let's finish this off. So this is gonna like kind of like loop over. See, it kind of loops over like this. And then we're gonna put the other one in here. I might round this out a little bit. Make it rounder. Yeah, that looks better. And then coming out the bottom here, we're gonna, woo, it's almost like a snake. And then this part's gonna connect in here. Look at that, that looks awesome. And then connect this, and then connect that. So it's like a ribbon that's super job. We'll be putting Sharpie in there and I'm gonna show you how to do that too. So stay tuned for that. All right, so for the Ravenclaw, what I did was I first started with the R. So it just looks like it's like a giant triangle. And then for the R, I'm making a line here, and then you're gonna make it come over, connect it, and this part kind of comes down. I love it. I'm gonna make it thicker too. And so now let's do this part, and the bottom of the R. Bloop. If it doesn't look perfect, that's okay, you know? We're doing our best, right? I'm gonna bring this in a little bit, because it looks like it's out a little too much. Okay, that's the R. So we'll be coloring that in. Eventually what you're gonna do, you see how it has the notches in it? So when you Sharpie it, you're just gonna put these little triangle notches in it and then you can erase them. Doop, 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 and we'll put extra ones too. So stay tuned. So it has the notches that we won't be doing. So when I take my Sharpie, let's say that I'm drawing it, I'm just gonna go over the notches and I'll, I'll erase that and it will just look like it's more rugged and you can even do the same thing so i'm going to come down i'm going to add a little notch there and then bring it down and do the same thing on this side so we'll bring this over add in a little notch you can add as many notches as you want and you want this to be thicker so we're going to make this thicker so we'll eventually we're going to sharpie that in super job Okay, you can make it like kind of jaggedy and then the bottom of the R. So when you eventually you're gonna sharpie it in, oh, we can add some extra little lines here. Bloop, bloop. And then when you sharpie in the whole thing, it's gonna look fantastic. And you'll just erase it and you won't see all the extra lines. And this is just the R. We still have a ways to go, but it's looking super good and I'm excited. Look at that, that looks great. Um, uh, Ravenclaw, we did the values. Um, the house was founded by the medieval witch, Rowena Ravenclaw. I love how they um, wrote, you know, like Salazar Slytherin, Rowena Ravenclaw, how, how they just match. It, J.K. Rowling's brilliant, brilliant. Anyways, so look how good that looks. And we can even take the big Sharpie around the outside here. Dink, go across the top. Some places I did thick Sharpie, some thin to emphasize, but I thought the outside lettering, it just needed to be bold. 
And then eventually you're gonna come in. After you're all done, you can just make some like extra lines just to give it that rugged look. Okay, see that just looks fantastic. Okay, so let's do the lettering on the rest. So I kind of like designated spots. So I'm like, just so I can sketch it out. So I'm like, okay, I got an A here. I got a V here. This is the V. I got an E here. And then we have an N, just so I can see where I'm putting it. And we have a C. And the L is kind of long. L. Oh, it's getting tight. W. Okay, I might have to see it. If you do that, then you're like, okay, I gotta squish it this way a little more. So let's we'll start with the A, but we're gonna bring it over a little so we have enough room over here. So we're gonna start with the A. I just kind of free ball it. Just do my best here. This is the A. And bring this down. And then just like when you did this with the notches, after you're all done drawing it in, you can add, when you sharpie, you can add your little, little triangle notches to make it look good. Okay, let's do the V. As I said, I'm just gonna try like bring it in a little bit to add more room for the other guys. There we go. R A V. Let's do an E. We're gonna bring it over a little bit. And if you want to add more pieces, you can. There we go. R A V E N. Let's do the N. Getting it closer here. Bringing it in. Okay, ends in there. Now we're gonna put the C in there. Getting it closer. It's turning out. It's coming along. Let's do it. Oh, any other fun facts? The um the house is oh yeah, we know. Um the house ghost is the gray lady. Not my favorite ghost. But guess what? Ravenclaw. Guess who was in Ravenclaw house? Moaning Myrtle. So we have Moaning Myrtle. So <laughs> I love Moaning Myrtle. So even though we have Grey Lady, we also have Moaning Myrtle. I'll take it. She's hilarious. <laughs> now let's do the L. Moving it over a little. And let's get the A in there. We're almost got, this is the, I think the lettering is probably the hardest part. And since I'm trying to hurry, I'm just kind of smacking it out here and uh, not taking as much time as I should, but I'm trying. Okay, let's do this W and I love this W. It goes up, look at this. That's so fun. Get that in there. Oh yeah, and then once you put all the little nicks in it, oh, dang, it's gonna be good. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we are going to do the, now it's an eagle. We're gonna do the head. So we have, this is the eagle's head, and then we have the eagle's, we're gonna connect this, the body coming off of it, and the wing's gonna come out the back, okay? And we're gonna put the beak on there, so we're gonna give it a beak. Mm, bring it down just a little bit. I painted a painting for my grandpa because he loved eagles. That was like his like mantra logo. You know, fly higher, work harder. I painted him a picture of an eagle head. It was beautiful. And now it is sitting in my parents' house. Okay, so now let's do this part here. I'm gonna erase this half. And then let's get his eye. So he's looking like fierce. Yes, I'm fierce. And now for the wings, um, they are going to come up. Mm, 
we'll just coat it like this. This is wing, and it's gonna come through here. This is the black part of the wing because it's like the other side of the wing. Oh, you're not gonna really see that. So this, I see like where I messed up a little. So I should have, see this, this is the front wing. I should have just bring it down. This part is going to be all sharpied in. I kind of didn't do that over here, but I think this is what it needs. And then we're gonna do the wing. So the wing, what you do is you're gonna do the front end, it's gonna be smooth, and then you're gonna go start putting the feathers in, okay? Then we have another one and then put the feathers in. So these will be sharpied in, so you're not gonna see details on these. These will be sharpened. But now we can do this part. This is the, so you can put the feathers in. And this is coming down. Look at that. Okay, so let's add in some more. And as you do it, kind of taper it in. So we're gonna make another one and we don't make it as long. And now we'll do another one, shorter. And this one will do shorter. And do a little baby one here. Okay, so for the feathers here, we are going to make the feathers come out. The scalloped edge, bring it in. And then now we're going to add its feathers this way. Uh, I might make them a little bit pointier. I'm a little pointier than that. And then you could add another layer. Awesome job. Looking good. Okay, we can erase so it's connected. That's all going to be Sharpie anyways. Sharpie, Sharpie, Sharpie. Okay, now let's do its feet. So we got uh, this one leg here and then one leg behind, and we're gonna end that, and it's claws. So we have a little claw coming down, and we're just kinda putting in the first one. And you're gonna put claws on all these, yes. And then there's just a, there's one behind, you just can't see. So we're gonna do the same thing again. Put down, down, Claws, claws. All right. We're gonna erase this center part because it's just distracting. All right, let's put some feathers in here. So we're just gonna make scalloped edge here. We'll do the same thing, kinda, but this is gonna come all the way down. You will be sharpening all, this actually came up just a little more, but that's okay. We'll be sharpening all, of this in. All right, let's do its back tail feathers. So it's gonna come out and you're gonna come in, but this one's gonna come into the wing. And now we're gonna add some other ones. But this one's gonna end. And we'll do another one. Actually, they need to come out like, let's just make a line here. So we're like, we're gonna make them all come to that line. So it's gonna drink, drink. What else do I know? Um, oh, J.K. Rowling's wanted each house to represent um, an element. So there's air, fire, water, and earth. Gryffindor has fire. Hufflepuff has earth. Slytherin has water. And Ravenclaw has air. I think that was awesome. This is back feathers. And they also have the highest, their common room is the highest tower in the whole castle. And they have the best view. Yes. All right, then we're gonna be sharpening all that in. We can clean this up. Okay, so now on to, let's all erase, we don't need that line here. Okay, now on to another thing for a ruler. Do you see how I made these lines? Perfect. Just find a spot here and go here, jump over the eagle, and then do the other side. Oops, here. That's the first one. So you're gonna do the same thing here. This one's gonna be colored all in blue. And then we'll do another line. It doesn't matter if it's like perfect or however you want it, just do it how you want here. Because this is gonna look different than mine, but that's okay. So we're gonna do here, jump over. You can't see it back there. And then we have one right here. You can't really see it back here. 
and one right here, but we'll just do the tail end of it. Okay, so we're gonna make these, we'll make this blue, and then for the stripes down, we're just gonna be making stripes. Boop. Just make them down. I should probably just do this with a Sharpie. Why would I do it again, you know, but that's okay. Okay, so you're gonna do that on all of them. Oh, okay, so let's just finish this side. Let's make sure I'm still recording because I do not want to do this twice. But it's looking good. All right, awesome. Okay, so what you're gonna do, I'm gonna teach you how to do this ribbon. So we're gonna start down here, make a parallel line, longer one top, shorter one down here this is the the beginning of the ribbon okay and coming off this ribbon we're going to be making the ribbons that are going to be flying so it's going to go whoop. so it's thinner right here get thick and thin again so you're just going to keep doing this all the way up so it's thin right here it's going to get thick in the middle and then thin again so you're gonna keep going with this. Thin here, thick, and then thin again. Thin, doing good. So you're just gonna keep going all the way up with this. Keep it going, let's get it thick and then thin. Awesome job. Perfect. Okay. And eventually when you do your Sharpie, you're just going to do making these little um, squishy marks all the way along like I did there. So you're going to do the same thing, but it's the opposite on this side. So we have a line here. It's thin, thick, and then thin again. That one's kind of poopy. Mm. They're not all perfect. Let me show you how I shade it after we sharpie. What else do I know? Oh, oh Moni Myrtle, I think we, we, we got it all. Oh, did I tell you about the colors? So in the movie, I think I told you that I just like, now I'm gonna have to go back and read the books and see what I get out of it. Okay, so you're just gonna go all the way up with this, go behind there. We're gonna come down since we're going behind the feathers. So I'm just gonna bring it down right here. And then we'll bring it over. And it's gonna go behind. The feathers here. Mm. Looking a little sloppy, but that's okay. Okay, we're gonna keep going here. So this is the tail end of this one. And then now let's get this one in there. Let's get the next one. Okay, so we just set the finishes off. We are so close, so far I didn't do these lines, but we can do that when we Sharpie. Um, okay, let's bring this in. I don't know about you. Sometimes I start like getting sloppy because I just want to hurry and move on to the next thing. But I have to remember, focus, because this is like the most important part. We don't get that part done. Okay, so let's Sharpie. Now, don't forget when you Sharpie, when you're doing your letters, make sure, look, come in here, get all your triangles in first. Get all these little notches. Let's do it now, just so you don't forget, because once you start sharpening, you're gonna go, oh, I forgot those. So just put them wherever you want. It's going to make it look so good. You can put as many or as few as you want. <laughs> kind of looks like it's getting eaten. <laughs> Right, we 
this is looking good. All right, so now we can outline everything. Okay, I'm actually running out of time because I'm about to start my super summer art camp and I have 12 boys coming to my house. So anyways, um, so we're just gonna show you what I did. I got a little too close here, but that's okay. So you're gonna take your, your thin, super thin, and you're gonna put some lines right here. It kind of gives it this rustic look right here. And then you can make a couple other lines just in here and then make some along this edge and some more here. And then here, I do a really thin, or you can color it all the way in, and then do some more lines. This is really what makes it look awesome, see? And then um, you're gonna do, um, for this, so let's say we're gonna Sharpie this in. That's where you're gonna take your Sharpie and put these little lines in there, and this is what's gonna make it look so good, okay? And how, what, how I colored the, eagle is I um, just used a little gray and then tan. That's all I did is use that. And then when you color, I just used, what did I use? I used light blue for like coloring this in and then this part is the dark blue and then gray. So those are the colors I used. So let me just show you. So I took the light blue, I'm gonna press down a little harder right here and as you come in, you're just gonna go lighter, not so hard. And then on the edge, you wanna give it a little edge of darkness, okay? And this is gonna be lighter in here. I didn't even erase, but you're gonna wanna erase. Then you are going to draw dark along this edge. And as you come in, you're gonna get lighter and lighter. And then make sure you get the sides, okay? And then same here, let's give a little shadow in here. And then go lighter out here, go dark in there, dark in here. And then with those lines here, after I sharpied it, I did these ones light, every other one. Then you're gonna take your dark blue and I'm just gonna color this in nice and dark with my regular, just regular blue. And color this in nicely. Okay, I'm hoping yours turns out good. Um, this was super fun to do. I really enjoyed this one. This definitely is like gonna go on the refrigerator. Yes. Hope you guys have an amazing day and I'll catch you guys on the next one. See ya.